this video covers about the malignant melanoma and it is the carcinoma which uh, involves the melanocytes and it is rapidly spreading and uh, it mainly occurs in, at the skin that is the trunk and legs mainly we can see this uh, in individuals with malignant melanoma uh, and also we, we can find this uh, at oral and anogenital mucosa esophagus conjunctiva and uh, orbits of the eye and uh, leptomeninges also we can see this in melanoma and but mainly uh, we, we should know that it occurs at skin okay and uh, the risk factors are uh, exposure to the sunlight that is the uv radiation and uh, the risk increases whenever there is a persistent change in the appearance of a mole and the presence of pre-existing na uh, nevus nevus means uh, we know uh, some people have uh, birthmarks and there are uh, many types of nevus like uh, uh, on the epidermis and it is based on the nevus present on the epidermis or uh, at the junction of epidermis, endermis, endermis etc. So you can see about the nevus and uh, uh, also the, the risk increases with uh, increase in age and uh, uh, family history of melanoma also increase the uh, risk and uh, whenever the um, diameter increases of a mole then the risk of uh, malignant melanoma increases and coming to the pathogenesis so we uh, we know uh, uh, mainly due to exposure of sunlight there is a mutation of uh, cdk n2 a gene okay this gene uh, is mutated mainly and also other tumor suppressor genes are also mutated you should uh, remember that uh, uh, t53 tp53 is not mutated okay uh, and uh, that is uh, the uh, exception and uh, also there is activation mutation of braf gene and uh, also there is increased telomerase activity uh, which is helpful in continuous cell cycles okay so the pathogenesis is divided into three there is mutation of uh, cdk n 2 a gene and other tumor suppressor genes except uh, p53 and also activation mutation of uh, bra uh, brf gene and also mutation of uh, which cause increased telomerase activity so coming to clinical features uh, we have uh, in melanoma we have a abcd rule that is a means asymmetry uh, and b means uh, irregular borders and uh, uh, c means color that is uh, variegated color and uh, diameter which is uh, generally greater than six millimeter in melanoma okay uh, we can see in, in this diagram and uh, this is a nodular malignant melanoma which uh, follows ABCD rule that is uh, there is asymmetry and uh, the border is irregular and color is variegated or uh, multiple colors uh, I mean uh, black brownish grayish uh, colors and uh, uh, diameter is generally greater than 6 millimeters in malignant melanoma and we can see uh, in primary tumors there is a flat or si it is flat or slightly elevated and we know variegate, uh, variegated pigmentation and also it has irregular borders that is asymmetry whereas in secondary tumors we can see ulceration bleeding and there is increase in size this is a secondary not secondary tumors it is secondary uh, change transfer secondary transformation okay it is ulceration bleeding and uh, increase in size coming to the morphology it has five types uh, based on morphology malignant melanomas are of uh, five types and uh, you can see that is uh, lentigo uh, ma maligna melanoma and superficial spreading melanoma and acral uh, lentiginous melanoma nodular melanoma and desmoplastic melanoma when you uh, come to the features of individual uh, 
Lentigo malignant melanoma has a previous dolus from the pre-existing lentigo. Lentigo is a type of nevus in which uh, the, uh, the basal cells of epidermis are replaced uh, by nevus cells. We know uh, it, uh, the skin has a stratified squamous epithelium. Uh, so in on the basement membrane we have uh, basal cells then cuboidal and uh, finally we have um, squamous cells so on the basal cell this basal cell layer is replaced by nervous cells so uh, from this uh, the lentigo malic uh, malignant melanoma develops okay it is slow growing and it has good prognosis a treatment uh, can be given so it has good prognosis and uh, next one is superficial spreading melanoma uh, it has a slight elevation in the uh, tumor and it is uh, of variegated color have ulcerated surface and it has a good prognosis I mean uh, compared to these it has good prognosis but uh, it has bad prognosis prognosis than lentigo malignant melanoma and next acral lentiginous melanoma it is seen in uh, soles palms and mucosal surfaces okay it is seen in skin and uh, it, uh, or any surface and but um, mainly soles palms and mucosal surface we can see and there is ulceration and metastasis this is normally seen in any malignant condition and uh, prognosis is worse than uh, superficial spreading melanoma in the uh, lentigo malignant melanoma and there is uh, next one is the nodular melanoma which appear as elevated like uh, superficial spreading melanoma and it is also deeply pigmented uh, and nodular appearance and it is ulcerated it has worse prognosis when you see here you can see uh, this is a nodular malignant melanoma uh, this is the gross appearance uh, that is a b c d it follows and uh, when when the cut surface is seen we can see there are nodules and uh, it is irregularly shaped and diameter is greater than six millimeter and uh, blackish nodules are seen okay so this is nodular melanoma it has worse prognosis it is normally ulcerated okay desmoplastic melanoma tumor has fibrotic stroma okay it has also new uh, neural invasion that is the desmo desmoplastic melanoma so after this the histology uh, based on the origin uh, normally this started uh, epidermodermal junction that is uh, when you see the histology of the skin if this is the basement membrane uh, we have the columnar cells then cuboidal or uh, polygonal cells then uh, squ squamous cells and below we have the dermis i mean this is not straight and uh, these are uh, here there is dermis so then um, normally the tumor starts here at the junction of uh, epidermis and dermis and it goes towards the dermis okay at the junction it starts and goes towards the dermis and uh, coming to the tumor cells the malignant melanoma cells uh, the, the shape is normally epithelioid or spindle shaped and they are normally larger than the navy cells and uh, <laughs> normally uh, there is increased cytoplasm and uh, it has a pleomorphic nuclei with the conspicuous nucleoli which means uh, the nucleoli is uh, ob uh, can be observed very prominently when you see here these uh, these are the ma um, malignant cells and uh, this is the epidermis and this is the der dermis region at the junction we have the activity of the melanoma uh, cells and we can see uh, here um, the size of the malignant cells are very large and uh, it has spindle and epithelial shape i can't find in this picture 
and uh, there is increased cytoplasm and uh, nucleus uh, is of different shape and uh, nucleoli is very prominent and it ha also has mitotic figures okay these are the mitotic figures uh, next it also have some multi nucleated giant cells okay see it has uh, mitotic figures and multi nucleated giant cells and uh, coming to the melanin may be present or absent if they are present melanin pigment then it is of fine granules granular appearance and uh, sometimes we can see inflammatory infiltrate in the invasive melanomas and uh, next we have staging that is uh, based on the prognosis uh, in order to determine the prognosis the uh, tumor thickness is measured by the depth okay depth of the skin uh, it has uh, two scales that is uh, clark staging and uh, brishlow staging okay uh, when you see clear staging it has five levels if the level one is malignant melanoma confined to epithelial cells epidermis i mean epidermis and the level two we have uh, into papillary dermis and next level three it is the junction between papillary and dermis and level four invasion of the reticular dermis invasion into subcutaneous fat is level 5 okay uh, and base slow staging is ba uh, based on uh, uh, size of size or thickness it is measured in micrometer on the microscope to know the depth of the tumor uh, the level of the uh, levels in the original criteria range from uh, less than 0 0.75 millimeter that is stage one to greater than four millimeter okay you can see here uh, t1 t2 t3 t4 less than one mm thickness is t1 and uh, t2 1 to 2 t3 2 to 4 t4 greater than 4 mm thickness okay so prognosis when when the invasion is more it is bad prognosis or thickness is more it is bad prognosis okay thank you